Well, good evening and welcome to the Oak Point Nature Preserve in Plano, Texas. Tonight's exercise is a field test of the Ace Beam L19V2 flashlight, which I have right here. Now, I was asked to review this light, and I do like to accommodate these requests. However, I do have a substantial interest in the L19V2 as an alternative to an LEP light for a couple of long-distance configurations I'm putting together for wilderness search and rescue. By long distance, I mean situations where I know in advance that I'll be working in terrain of 200 yards or greater line of sight, in fact, three to 500 yards may be quite common. And so I'll be doing a lot of testing tonight in uh, turbo mode because that's exactly how I would deploy the light. Left shoulder of my ruck, short burst in turbo. And I know I'm gonna get asked this on the subject of LEP lights. I did bring the uh, Phoenix TK30 and we will be doing some comparative shots. But first, we'll take a look at the basic lighting modes. I am going to hold off on uh, grip, accessories, user interface, general usage of the light for a later video. I know that in these field tests, everyone wants to get right to beam shots. So on that subject, I'm going to shut this intro down. Let's get out in the field and find out what this light can do. Well, we have five lighting modes we're going to be looking at tonight. I'm skipping moonlight. I'm starting out in low right now. We'll be looking at low, mid one, mid two, high, and turbo. And we're just past sunset, so there's still uh, a very minor amount of ambient light out, but I like doing tests in imperfect conditions. And just notice, even at low, how narrow a beam this is. Next we'll look at mid one. I'm now looking out over the lake. This is in mid one. Notice the very narrow beam. I mean just at a glance you could almost take that for an LEP light. This is the mid one mode. Next we'll look at mid two. Now we're going a little bit further down the lake line. This is the mid two mode. Out onto the lake. Yeah, it's Texas in the summer. We're attracting a lot of bugs. Next we'll look at high. This is high mode looking at the maximum line of sight across the lake. You can see there's a gap between the trees. There's actually a wooden stake on the other side of the lake that's about 600 yards from my current position, but I'm scanning across the far edge of the lake in high mode. Next, I'm going to up the zoom level and we'll uh, do a quick test in turbo. We are at 2.5x zoom in turbo. I apologize for the noise at, at, at this distance and with the uh, particulates and bugs in the air. I cannot see to the uh, opposite end of the lake although it's definitely putting the, uh, the light out there. I might have a little bit better chance with a magnified optic. Uh, next, we're gonna look at uh, turbo versus an LEP light at the same zoom level. This is the Phoenix TK30 looking at the uh, opposite edge of the lake. I can make out the, uh, the shore, but that's it. I cannot make out that wooden stake I was looking at. Let's compare that to the ace beam. Okay, ace beam in turbo on the right, Phoenix TK30 LEP light on the left. 
All right, well, I'm gonna go take my tripod back to the truck, uh, attach the L19 V2 to the left shoulder of my ruck, and we'll get out in the field and do some more tests. Well, we are now at the opposite edge of the lake, looking back to where I was filming the last set of segments. This is the uh, wooden post I referred to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the phone kind of balanced up here on this post, get the ace beam on, headlamp off, now direct that back across the other side. The lights you see in the distance are probably 650 to 675 from my current position. And of course we have a, <coughs> a lot of bugs in the air tonight. But I could get called to do search and rescue on any night of the year. So lighting systems have to perform and perform well year round. All right, let's <coughs> move on deeper <laughs> into the preserve. Okay, I'm stopping here at a fork and I'm doing a sweep. And as I sweep out to my left here, I'm lighting up a tree line that is well over 200, probably closer to 250 yards from my current position with light pollution from the surrounding city in the background. And even with the unaided eye, I can make out details in that tree line really well. Of course, I would be using this light in practice in tandem with a magnified optic. Well, one of the things I'm always interested in is how well does the left shoulder light work in tandem with my headlamp? That is, you know, can it really cut through my headlamp illumination? Right now I've got my headlamp on max, 3000 lumen combined flood and spot. So let's bring the uh, L19 V2 in on turbo real quick. And yeah, kind of what you would expect from a nearly 300,000 candela light. It just cuts through that like butter. But I need to see it. I need to do the actual test and see what I'm up against in familiar circumstances. So photonic barriers, um, yeah, no problem. This is a variation of the prior test. I'm searching a creek area, but I'm not on turbo. I'm on mid two, and I have my headlamp in a relatively low 400 lumen flood. So this shows how these two work together at a lower illumination because you know these are the types of searches that I have to do. I have to be able to look along you know, the edges and into these uh, creeks. And, you know, even at uh, this mid two level with the, uh, the high candela that the light offers, this is giving me a great beam. I can see right down into the bottom of the creek. I can pick up details uh, at the edges. And of course, my, my headlamp is still giving me some nearby peripheral illumination. So once again, headlamp, 400 lumen flood, and the L19 V2 in mid-2 mode. And next test, we're going back to turbo. So this is an interesting test. I have uh, quite a bit of light pollution in the background, and I'm looking at a clump of trees, which is just over 400 yards from my current position. And even with the unaided eye, I'm getting some pretty good detail uh, around and through the trees. I think with a magnified optic, uh, I'd have a very good view, even with the haze and particulates in the air and our uh, Texas summer bugs. So I always think this uh, particular position is a very interesting test. So here's another uh, creek shot from a longer distance. My headlamp is completely off and we are in turbo mode.
Yeah, I don't know if it's showing up on the iPhone, but I can pick up minute details underneath the water. All right, well, let's head back out to the uh, truck. Maybe we'll do one more test and then a quick summary. Okay, here's one final test. We're on turbo and we're looking back into quite a bit of light as I sweep right to left. And yeah, on turbo, the L19 V2 is doing a great job. All right, time for a quick wrap up and we'll, uh, we'll call it a night. Wow, easiest summary I've ever filmed. Yeah, it's a thrower. It's a real thrower. Uh, one of those lights that, uh, that really does live up to the specifications printed on the box. For me, um, definitely it's a contender for one of my uh, long range loadouts. What I'd like to do next is get it out to the LBJ grasslands, uh, keep it on the left shoulder of my rug, expose it to you know, at or near, maybe even below freezing temperatures for a few hours, take it out in a search and rescue training scenario and literally use it exactly the way I would a left shoulder light in a long distance uh, loadout. And uh, hopefully I can get that review out in the November, December time frame. Give me a couple more days and I'll try to have the video out that discusses uh, accessories, grip, going through the user interface, working all the lighting modes and so forth. And until then, as always, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for watching the video.